Good morning YouTubers and YouTubers. This is Connor I'm CEO here and welcome back to another reaction video and this is Arrow Season 6 Episode 11 and this is called We Fail. So let's sit back and relax and see how our separated team are getting along. Previously on Arrow, you cost me something dear to me, my son. What? It's like one of those other men as we thought. Huh? Someone got DP'd? Or that's what you call it. I'm a city councilman! I deserve some respect! Hey, didn't you shift in to six, Doc? That's what I keep asking myself, Gilbert. I'm not liking the look at that time. Joe and I are gonna watch the game tonight if you wanna join us, Frank. I wish we could. It is going to be a long one. Right, I'm no car expert, but I'm sure that was the brake, not the accelerator. Jesus! Okay, why does this scream X Files? Did somebody get a haircut and shaved? Well, he must be out of practice since it could be in the green arrow. That must be it, yeah. Fire. There is a trip, yeah? Yeah. There's a prep sheet for the trip, and I tried one of the extra credits. Take a look at it? Yeah, of course. I meant soliciting. I'm sure you did. <clears throat> 12th grade AP. And it's perfect. Well, congratulations. Take your flash backpack and don't miss your boss. Right? Okay. Get out of here. Councilman Grimner is dead. So are six people in the hospital and five more electrocuted by an elevator. Brad, I don't remember that. An X Files. Yeah, Quentin. We got a problem. An elevator <laughs> electrocuted five people. <sighs> yeah, how do you know? I just know. It's Frank Pike. Pike's dead? <clears throat> well, that's a stupid question. He was electrocuted. Yes. Of course he's dead. Oh, somebody's pumped. Hey, that trip's really working. Yeah, no feel better. Definitely working. That's gonna be right. No, not even close. The city is under some sort of electronic attack. Okay, James. You gotta figure. I mean, cars, cranes, life support systems, even elevators are killing people all over town. Yeah. Hey, I'm Mama John. What do we know? Accidents are happening all over the city. Size of this attack, you gotta think it's King James, but to what end? We may have gone our separate ways, but we have the same goals. Do it. Ah, uh, they have every right to know. All the help we can get. I'm sorry about Frank. He was a good cop and he was a better man. Yeah. You wouldn't want us staying around here grieving, right? 911 is our overload, and now we got no one here to run the show. Yes, we do. Whoa. I thought I was off. Can you catch me up on the status here? Whoa, you're yeah, putting well, your deputy yeah, mayor in charge of this, uh, of the, of the police? She isn't bugging us again, is she? How does we? Hey. hey. Paranoid much? Kim is attacking the city with a series of coordinated hacks. Oh my god. A plane? a plane? No, I mean, he can hack anything that is connected to the internet, which is practically everything these days, so separate teams could share information. Yeah, uh, that's a good idea. We'll share any and all information that can help. Send you what I've got so far. Well, that's a start. Oh, that's all right, guys. I mean, I know we looked at each other, but we didn't actually verbalize. Oh, we agreed, Curtis. Frank Pike is dead. What? He was killed by one of Kate and Jane's hacks. Wait, Your T-sphere. Can it be? You know what, and since when does it sound like BB-8? It's locking onto him. Because your balls never malfunction. Really? Really? You have to be that gross? Not this time. I think the son of a bitch is trying to draw us out. Trap us. Sounds like Vigilante. I say we trap him. Yeah. 
two, three. Suit up. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we should say Well, in fairness, Oliver never said, leave the uniforms and get new ones. Because after all, Curtis owns the jacket. Cisco and Curtis would do so great together because they never seem to shut up. It's awful. Is this the Canadian James you've been talking about? Mrs. can talk in person. Okay, cool. It's just like the old days. I'm not that old. Look, I think it's a great idea. We should take everything in the city's government on analog and freeze uh, gyms and civic centers with the SCPD protection. Yeah. We can take them completely off grid. People can come, feel safe. Safe zones are a good idea. No. Got nothing in the alleyway. Same for the parking garage. Still here. Back to finish. What was that? Uh, Curtis, I uh, hope you have your spheres handy. I'll be brief. I'm on your side. What? Caden James is my target, too. I'm undercover with this organization. I tried telling Dinah last week, but she didn't give me the chance. Well, of course, she was right pissed. Now, James is killing dozens of people, but tonight, it'll be hundreds. If you're Kurt, if you're Kate and James's target, then who's your handler? I could have trapped you here, but I didn't. Who's his handler? If he's a tar if he if Kate and James the target, not the boss. Ten a.m. is here. What ten a.m.? Ten a.m. on my schedule. And even if I did it, I think you'll find this one's rather important. Ben Gale, pleasure to meet you, Mr. Mayor. Thanks for making the time. Thank you, Becky. But before we get to that, you should know that my colleagues are expecting to hear from me in six. And if they don't, well, you would be remiss in forgetting the thermobaric explosive that remains in my possession. Vengeance for my son. I cared for him, protected him, loved him. These are innocent people, and you can save them. What is that? A million dollars into that offshore account. What? No later than 11.30 tonight. And every night. What? Are you insane? This is for you. So that you'll suffer. I didn't kill your son. Here in Star City, you missed your intended target, but your arrow found its way into my board. Our city will not negotiate with the terrorist. Spare me the political clap trap, Mr. Queen. By tonight, that will sound hollow even to you. You okay? I have tried every trick to counter hack what Caden is doing. So I contacted Elena to help me figure out why, and the answer is, is that it's my fault. Listen, what are you talking about? Well, of course it is. You're the one that let him out. He just wanted us to think that people were in trouble so that I would break through his firewall, but instead of blocking him, I was actually just helping him plant a virus. Now he has complete control of the entire city. Thanks to King James, who was kind enough to pay me a visit at City Hall. What do you want? He wants $10 million a day. Details of his son's death. He was killed one year ago today. Caden thinks that he was collateral damage from a fight that I had in Star City. You said you were creating data? Yep. Well, well, by yeah. Range, maybe we... Where have you been? Long story. I need to check on something. Hey! Hey, if we're still sharing intel, I need you to check on something for me. I'm trying to save off a disaster. Yeah, the automatic traffic signals just went offline. How'd you know? Lucky guess. My team can handle it. Well, you could have ended it with that instead of being a cheeky asshole. A lot around the edges. The train lines and the freeways. He's laying siege to the city. That's probably why he wanted the port. And turn Star City into a time bomb when everything's blocked off. Oh, crap, William. Oh, crap. I saw your mom on TV. She's pretty hot. Like your mom. This field trip? You know, this is a perfect time for you to take your dad's advice about that broken nose. Let's just go put this together. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. We need to move. Okay. Let's go save your son. Whoa. It's... Red. Sometimes they can be electrified. I know that, Jay. I'm not six. I didn't know that. Really, Renee? Because these tracks are set to cross. I don't want to thought about transit, but I knew that. Please. 
Diana sounds crazy, but scream. Okay, I never thought that would work. Jeez, how did you get to be so cool? Jeez, he's got a hell of a backbone. Oh, shit, will him! Oh, crap, he's gonna know. How come in every situation like that, there's always a baby involved? Oh, this is not good. Well, I'm just gonna know. Oh, he's gonna find out. He's gonna find out. Come on. Yeah, you didn't use your voice changer. William, say hello to the arrow bunker. Unfortunately, that tunnel was the last way out of the city. Does anyone want the Green Arrow anymore? John did take over for me, but he got injured. Listen, buddy, I promise. You've promised before. Could you please hang here? <sighs> you know what? I really have to say that I think we should change our name. Yeah. What do you guys think of uh, the outsiders? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I mean, she hadn't given us that intel. Those people would be dead. About that. I got that information from Vincent Sobel. And here we go. I called Felicity to confirm if his intel checked out, and it did, clearly. How very Oliver Queen of you. I had to get all the information first before I looped you guys in. Then once I did have all the information, we had to stop a subway collision. But Vince, help us. He says he's a double agent working to take down Ken and James from the inside. Ah, but who's his handler? That does track. The guy used to be undercover. Which makes him a professional liar. Curtis and I disagree, so... So nothing. We all have to agree. Don't we? Or are we just screwing consensus now? That would put a little extra pep in your step. You are my savior. Maryland coffee. <laughs> Why can't it just be off? Nothing's going here. Well, it's not good. No, we've got no customers at all. There's so much happening right now that people are just scared to even come to the safe zones. We'd like to redeploy them. No. If, if we get people here, then we don't need to worry about protecting them out there. We have no idea. Kate and James is going to attack next. Would you please call the press? I have an idea. Okay. <sighs> Let's hope it doesn't get anybody killed. Remember that last May, Caden received a package from Cornwall Tease, and she thinks that in that package was the evidence that made Caden think that Oliver killed Owen. And it's then who gave Kate and James that package? You okay? Are we saying we have a mastermind yeah. behind the mastermind? You're already missing being the Green Arrow, don't you? I was just hoping that since the implant was working so well, then maybe. You'd be putting the hood back on? Hope so for his sake. Oh man, he just found out that his father's been lying to him for a month. Stepmom in trading over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's right, she's a stepmom. Jeez, that's a bit of a weird chucker. Hey, Will, your dad's on TV. A hacker goes by the name Caden James has taken over the electronic infrastructure of Star City. Can be used as a weapon. Now, sadly, this has already led to a number of casualties, including our police captain, Frank Pike. He's been with us since day one. So Mr. James has made his demands. And Star City does not negotiate with terrorists. Green Arrow for president, or was it Green Arrow That's mayor, period. or mayor yes, Green Arrow? Set up stumps. You will be safe there. Mr. James, Star City has survived far worse than you. We'll be united, and we will survive this. Okay, why are you pulling an Iron Man? It's, it's not like you have a, a house in Malibu Point and a bunch of helicopters coming at you. This has been a while since I didn't hear any Marvel jokes.
on the mail systems of several different countries. Not that you need to know about it, but it was like really intense and really cool, and I did it. It was really hard, but you didn't even know about this. And oh, gosh, she's season one Felicity again. ...that Caden received. The information that made him think that you killed his son. You see how I came full circle on that, right? 100%. I'm surprised Caden James hasn't gone after William. An eye for an eye. Ooh, what will that? What if that happens in the season final? Oh. Well. Ooh. Aren't you ready yet? We're moving out. I'll be right there. Whoa! Seriously? You've done a Morse code on your visor. Jeez, the guy's really legit. But who's his freaking handler? Tack. Tack. Oak. Oak. Street. A attack on Oak Street. Now. They're attacking Oak Street. That that's, a that that's one of the safe. That's one of the safe zones. People are scared. It's not good. They should be scared. That's why they need us. When you say us, do you mean just you? The people who are standing on the roof. Because we got your message. Thanks for reaching out. And James is the next target. How do you know? We know. It's all that matters. You have incoming. Oh, well, you have lots of incoming. Yep. Multiple bogeys. Oh, right now. Right. Well, that's true. Yeah. You're right. It's very dangerous. And heroes don't always make it home. I never forget that. But, you know, I loved your dad. And the first time you brought me a bullet riddle computer. Remind me to tell you about that one. Oh, the bullet hole laptop with a very bad, lame excuse of how he got damaged. He's not perfect. His life, it's, it's not ideal. I have to live with the fear and the certainty that everything can be taken from us in an instant. Traitor! I'm taking you to hell with it! We pay for choosing the people that we love. Well... Yeah, he does, he does for a good reason. Uh. Watch. After he takes these two down, he's gonna spin, disarm him, kick. Right here. Oh. oh no, William shouldn't be looking at that. Oh, uh, no problem, Hoss. To be, if you want more help, just be sure to be called. Renee, this is why I don't like you as much. I have mixed feelings of you because you're such a prick. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was gonna say badass. Well, damn right he's a badass because that's your dad. To be honest, I was actually he suggest I thought in some way he was gonna step up and tell his father, suit up, the city needs you. But it's different now. I have Felicity. I understand why you have to go out there. I'm gonna get to bed. Until later. Take it, it's not good news. She went through all the computers and quarter multi-student and I'm sorry. I've got to get this in the Dude, this is insane. You're gonna... This is causing a bankrupt. This is exactly what he wants. Fire the money. You obviously can't do that. Ha Keaton James asking him to wire ten million dollars on this offshore account for ten thirty every freaking night. That's going to cause bankruptcy. It's going to come out of his out of his wallet, and then shortly after that, it's going to come out of the cities. And I'm thinking I'm starting to narrow down what's going to happen. Blocking up the tunnels and those uh, electricity attacks. He's going to turn. Uh, Star City into the next Gen U. A wasteland graveyard. That's, what, that's what's going to happen. 
And being in a separate team is not going to pan well. Because now they're going, oh, since Oliver did that to us, let's do that to them. By having a double agent who is still a killer on their side. And Diana is thinking about is thinking about, oh, this means I got my man back and I met a human couple. She's not thinking clearly because pretty soon before she even knows it, he's going to be dead because Keaton James is going to be one step ahead of uh, Vigilante and he's going to die. For the first time ever, a healing metahuman is going to die and we all know how to kill a, 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 um, a super healing meta. Chop his freaking head off. That's what's going to happen. And now by the looks of things, uh, somebody gave... A false story to Kate and James, which started last year. And of course, he was in Hob City recruiting Diana. And Renee is starting to get on my flipper nerves. When Oliver said, good work, as in good work on your first time out as a separated team. He was all like, it doesn't change a thing, Hobbs. It's all like, well, thanks well, thanks very much. And kudos if you ever want the same uh, treatment as us, if you want some help. You know who to call. But no, he has to be a complete dickhead because he's the one that got Oliver into the situation in the first place. Oh, I'm doing this for my daughter, so I'm going to rat out Oliver Queen, which is going to cause a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble. The people who got taken down by the Green Arrow, they'll be after him. Like a freaking rabbit dog. And Curtis is starting to do what Oliver did, heighten secrets. Have they ever thought of walking up to Oliver and saying, is there, a, well, I'm pretty sure they probably asked, but they sh would they say, is there a reason why you did this to us, you had tabs on us? And I think within consideration, after what happened to those guys in the ENU, under Oliver's nose, they were kidnapped. Diana, Renee, Curtis, everybody, including Thea, they were all kidnapped and sent to the ENU to die. Have they ever thought, maybe in consideration, maybe they, he wants to keep tabs on us because he doesn't want to lose us? Because technically, at, at besides William, Diggle and Felicity, Renee, Curtis and Diana are basically the family that he has. Because his mother died, his father died, his best friend slash brother died. Everybody around him dies, including his ex-lover who gave birth to his son. See if I ever was a superhero, which, of course, it's everybody's dream, comic book-wise. I would make sure I would let all my teams know, and if I ever did that, I would give them a reason why. Not because I don't trust them, because I don't want to lose them. And I wonder what's going to happen uh, with the next episodes. And yes, this is a late episode because there's complications with my editing and my scheduling, but hopefully... When, you, when uh, the TV series takes a little break, which I heard that Arrow won't be airing until the 15th. Sorry, uh, won't be airing at the 15th, so at least it'll give me enough time to put things together. And I will be putting on schedules. Like, say, for example, with Supergirl. I know it's, uh, it's on tonight, but I get it 24 hours later here when I watch it online. So I uh, will watch it on Monday and then try to edit as fast as I can and then edit on Monday night. And then do the same with Black Lightning, The Flash, and Arrow, which obviously I have to wait until Friday for Arrow. Well, until then, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the reaction video, and I hope you enjoyed my overreacting review. And I hope you enjoy all the other shows that happened this week. And so, YouTubers and YouTuberettes, I'm Connor, I'm CEO. Thank you, and overnight.